Hi, my name is Anderson. Welcome to my channel Fluffy Tech Things. Quality reviews with a horrible accent. Today we're gonna talk about the air cooler, the small personal AC unit. Summertime here in Sweden used to be awesome, but in recent years it really can get brutally hot here. Thank you global warming. Since most homes in Sweden doesn't come with air conditioning as a standard and with indoor temps as high as 31.5 celsius in my apartment, you need something to cool you down. I think it was the company Eva Polar that made a revolutionary product in the first personal air cooler and then a whole lot of knockoffs popped up in the market for a fraction of the price and that's the kind that I got. I'm a natural skeptic and I'm not in the position right now to spend 1600 Swedish crowns on a product that I don't even know if it works or not. That's one of the reasons I opted for a cheaper replica instead of the real thing. And the price of the knockoffs will vary all the way from 108 Swedish crowns up to 1500 Swedish crowns, depending on where you get your air cooler from. I paid around 250 Swedish crowns, including shipping. My air cooler has a 3-in-1 design with refrigeration, humidification and air purification all in one. It powers on micro USB, that's a really good thing, and the built-in water tanks LEDs has 7 colors to choose from. Let's start with the first question I had before I bought my air cooler, does it work? And the answer is, yeah, ish. How does it work? Well, inside the air cooler there are water cooled filters. You fill up the reservoir with water or ice and that will wet the filters and that will give you cool air. I do have a regular fan as well and the air from the air cooler is actually much cooler. Since I have a cheaper model I can't manually set the temp that I would like, the air just comes out cool. It says on the site that the air cooler will cover 4 square meters and from using it for a while now I can say maybe. Half of the side of my bed in the direction where the air cooler is pointed is cooler, yes. But that's pretty much it. My version of the air cooler is 18 cm wide, 18 cm deep and 17 cm tall, so not quite a cube. And it weighs only 900 grams without the water. It says on the side that the water tank will last for about 8 hours. All I can say to that is f you, uh, it's more 3 to 4 hours. The air cooler has 3 different fan speeds, however on the high settings it's extremely loud. Is there any good thing about the air cooler? Well, it's really portable and it does work ish, and I like the design of it. So, the conclusion then. For me, anyway, it feels like the workers at the assembly factory had a contest who could put this shit together the fastest, and the only loser was me, the customer. There are only three buttons on the entire unit and all of them are wobbly and feel extremely cheap. It took about 5 seconds for the LEDs in my unit to start flickering. Lucky for me, that's only when you're handling the air cooler. I could not recommend this product in good faith. I can say that if you are buying one of the cheaper ones, don't expect too much from it. It will give you cool air. But I would not pay more than 250 Swedish crowns for it. Maybe the original Eva Polar air cooler is much better, but I'm skeptic. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this review was helpful. If you want to check out the product, I'll leave a link down in the description. Please support this channel by subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next one.